everyone and welcome to this tutorial on how to view the long head of biceps tendon in the anterior shoulder. Firstly, uh, become familiar with bony landmarks around this region. It's an area that you'll frequently come to when scanning the shoulder, so be familiar with the lesser tuberosity, the greater tuberosity and the characteristic bicipital groove in the anterior shoulder which contains the biceps tendon. When looking at this uh, dynamically on an ultrasound scan, uh, you'll become aware of how important it is to constantly re-angle your probe, uh, moving from a Keflad direction to a Cordad direction to follow the course of the tendon down the forearm and to avoid artifacts such as anisotropy. It's an excellent area to practice your probe skills on, uh, following the tendon, keeping it centered within the middle of the screen and to keep the bicipital groove nice and level uh, when you come up to the more proximal portion uh, of the biceps tendon. It's also an area where you can pick up more information that can play a role in what you'll find uh, later on in your shoulder scan. Looking for long head of biceps effusions can often uh, indicate the presence of a rotator cuff tear further up. It may also indicate a local long head of biceps tenosynovitis and utilizing Doppler functions on your ultrasound machine will give you more uh, information uh, for this alongside your clinical examination. As always, I hope you found this a uh, useful tutorial and we look forward to hearing your feedback. Thanks very much.